Well, I'm Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. Today's video, we're going to learn rotate shift instructions of 8086 and then we go ahead and we learn something called as processor control group also called machine control group. These are instructions by which we can modify the flags or directly operate on the flags. We will come to that later. First, we look at the rotate and shift instructions. Now, these are very simple instructions, okay. But as simple as they may be, they are very useful. There are situations where if you don't know these instructions, you will not be able to come out of those. There are some type of peculiar exam questions like write a program to find out the number of even and odd numbers or positive and negative numbers or number of ones in a number, etc. To solve those questions, you need to know these instructions. Now, what these instructions do is first we look at rotate and shift. They take a register and they move the bits of a register in a particular direction, either in the left direction or in the right direction. Okay? Now, uh, the problem with rotates and shifts are they are very similar. Because they are so similar, students tend to confuse between the two. In the exam, they ask rotate instructions and students write shift instructions and vice versa. So, uh, first of all, let us get this difference clear. What is a rotate and what is a shift? So that this confusion does not arise. I mean, the moment I say the word rotate, what comes to your mind? A line or a circle? A circle. A shift? a line that is it. Rotate is a circular movement, shift is a horizontal movement. Suppose I take a register, an 8 bit register and I rotate it left. What happens? Each bit will go one position to the left. What happens to the last bit? Will it fall down? No. It will come back to the first. When the last bit comes back to the first, that means you formed a full circle. This is called a rotate. Are you clear? But same thing, if I do a shift, I take the same register, but this time I am doing a shift left. Each bit will again go one position to the left. So to all the internal bits, it makes no difference whether you are doing a rotate or a shift. The difference will only happen at the last bit. Now will the last bit come back? No. It won't fall down. It will simply get overwritten. It won't go anywhere, so it will get overwritten. Now if all bits have moved towards the left by one position, then the first bit position becomes empty. So a 0 will enter the number from the other side. Everything will move in one direction and a 0 will enter from the other side. This is what happens in a shift. So once again, in a rotate, the last bit comes back to the first. In a shift, everything just moves on the side and a 0 enters from the other side. Now, let us take examples. Suppose I take an 8-bit register, Okay, listen carefully, 8-bit register and I rotate it 8 times. What happens? Everything comes back to its original position. Correct? But if I shift it 8 times, what will happen? The whole register will end up becoming 0. Tell me now, is the difference between a rotate and a shift clear? Let us start. Okay. So, uh, the complete videos for uh, all of these topics are there on my website. It is called www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The same name as the name of the channel. All you need to do if you want to watch the whole video, you want to learn the whole subject of 8086, log into that website. Uh, there is a small subscription fee, I have kept it as low as possible. Just uh, you got to pay up that fee immediately, instantly your subscription becomes active. For the next 6 months, you can watch the videos as many times as you would want. Okay, So, you can watch them over and over again, so that the concept is totally uh, drilled into your head. Okay, now let us continue.